we're back with another one and this is the review of the Nexus 6 now this Nexus 6 I've been with this phone for just about a year now and it's been one of the best experience I ever had now this is a 32 gig uh, Nexus 6 I really wanted the 64 but I was unable to get it from my carrier which is T-Mobile at that time and I didn't feel like waiting but 32 gigs I just about filled it because you're gonna hold a lot of apps and media and stuff like that because guess what the phone is that good set alarm for eight and a half hours okay 6 24 a.m. setting your alarm that is your phone and your tablet at the same time if you're into video you're gonna want this phone if you're not into video you will be into video by the time you start using this phone because there's not a better experience on another phone than watching uh, media watching media on this screen is absolutely excellent now in defense of Mr. Goodwin everything the Mets have been doing is coming up rough Cespedes drives one deep left field another feat of strength into the second deck so if you appreciate baseball, you're going to definitely appreciate that you're able to watch this full screen. And you heard the speakers. It's loud. It is very loud, guys. You're going to really enjoy the experience that you get on this phone. If you're a Netflix fan, you're going to appreciate crispy video on this. So guys I can't play it long because of copyright issues but you get the point if you're listening to music the speakers is an absolute bomb on this phone absolute bomb you can't get away from it the experience of using this phone multitasking is a breeze also if you're into you know social media and you're scrolling through you're gonna enjoy everything that you see being able to look at these um, words on your screen with no problem and you know I never ever had to change the font level to some ridiculous size because it's easy to see the screen is real clear real nice it's a 2k display 1440p and it's doing the job and battery let me just get into the battery life first of all the battery life is not terrible it's not the best battery life that you're gonna get and it does vary from day to day but if you're consuming a lot of media if you're watching a lot of movies a lot of, of, of a whole baseball game don't expect to go eight hours with this phone it's gonna die around eight hours now if you're doing moderate use everyday use you know work home whatever it is you can get 12 to 14 hours on the regular pretty much with this phone give or take that's why i said 12 to 14 because it's not as consistent as you would think with the battery life now if you barely use the phone that means you don't use the phone too much you know you can go 16 to 18 hours you know on that charge and you don't have to worry too much about charging it back up because you'll be charged up from zero to, to full in about an hour and a half because of this turbocharger from Motorola. Now you can get this from Motorola, you can get an extra one. It comes with the phone, but you can get an extra one for about 30 bucks or so, give or take. And you can get charged up and in a whim you can get about a couple of hours about four hours worth of charge in about 15 minutes because it's a turbo charger so it really works for me now the build you can see in the back like i said i put a d brand skin you know and i i hooked it up but i like the back i love the nexus sign i love the the dimple in the back with the motorola logo which is basically for looks and feel something to have your finger migrate to when you're holding the device also the camera this is a beautiful designed camera and i'm so sad that motorola went away from this 
Um, the Moto the Moto X 2014 has it, and of course this Nexus. This is beautiful. You got a 13 megapixel camera with OIS, and you have full flash on the sides, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Also, it's it's a thick device to a certain extent because of the middle gets a little a little thick. It got a little hump, so it could fit in your hand, but the ends are pretty thin. The ends are pretty thin. So this is a phone, even though it's size, the Motorola's are known for basically fitting great in the hand. And this phone does, for a big phone, it does fit good in your hand. But don't expect to do much one-handed use. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an issue. You know, you might have to shimmy up and down. You might have to grab the other hand. And start using it for certain things now if you're a two-handed typer anyway you use two hands anyway so this is not gonna be a problem for you and like I said if you're not into media you will be if you get this phone because it's just that good now I recommend the 64 gig you know definitely so you can have enough storage for all the stuff you're gonna put into this phone the front-facing camera is not all of that it's a 2 megapixel but for that time last year, most phones had two megapixels. It's only this year of 2015, the carriers, sorry, the manufacturers and the carriers are paying attention to the front facing camera. Now, a lot of people are doing um, self shots. Uh, a lot of people are doing hangouts where they're talking on the phone and looking at the person. So you want a better front facing camera. Two megapixels, okay, you can get by with it. And if it's if it's definitely something you don't care about, then it's definitely not a deal breaker at all. And I don't think it's a deal breaker. Now this is the way I keep this is the way I keep my phone. I keep it very minimalistic. You know, Android really runs smooth when it's stock Android. There's no skin over this. This is exactly the way Android was intended to be. You know, and it's real, real comfortable. I really enjoy um, using this phone and why should anyone you know settle for anything else you know that's the bottom line why should anyone settle for anything else basically you want this phone right now it's heavily discounted wherever you go so you're not gonna pay full flagship price for this flagship phone and guess what you don't have to worry about updates because you will get updates on time so um, one of the biggest qualms that I had with the phone because of the volume and the power. Can you imagine? This is the only qualm I have with the phone because of the volume and the power is on the same side. That's a little thing to argue about. When you plug in your Nexus, it's going to be upside down. Upside down micro USB. No big thing. You get used to that. And like I said, it charges up fast. Um, this Nexus actually charges up. I don't have a turbo charger in the car but it does charge up fast in the car you're gonna notice that so um the design of the phone is absolutely gorgeous anyone that sees this phone is gonna be impressed by the phone and like i said if you have a tablet and you do buy this nexus your tablet will get dust will get dust because you're not gonna pick it back up once you use this phone i prefer to pick this up over probably everything else that I have. I have a couple of tablets, but I'd rather pick up my Nexus, you know? So that's why I said you're gonna load this up with apps, games, and so forth. And games do run pretty smooth on this phone. Now, I don't normally harp on games because I feel um, none of us want the real complicated games. Most of us are doing basic games like the one I'm about to show you right now. We do basic games. So you don't have to worry at all. Now this is a simple game, Sonic. You can easily lend this to your friend, to your, to your kid, and so forth. And also you have another mode in here. Just in case you want, you do put the phone in someone's hand you don't necessarily have to have your information to be shown you basically goes to user 
and you can add a guest. You can put this in guest mode or you can add a user. And when you put it in guest mode, um, I'll put continue and the person can pretty much start and they can search the web, they can do YouTube and so forth. And guess what? It's under a, it's, it's not under your account because this is guest mode. So that is a good mode to have because they can do the web and do whatever they, they need to do without using actually your information. Now, here's the thing I want to talk about, which is Google Now. Google Now it, on any stock Android device to the uh, alt, to the ultimate, um, what do you call it, left screen. You know, your right screen, you're going to have your different apps, uh, you know, your different home screens. But to that other side, you're going to have Google Now. Now, Google Now is going to give you all these updates on what's going on. A lot of things depend on location and so forth. You know, but you're going to get articles and so forth, which is cool. And like I said, text is very crisp. Text is very crisp on this device. So you're going to enjoy what you're reading because if you're a reader, this is your Kindle replacement right there. So let's just wrap up. Um, why are you going to get a Nexus? You're going to get a Nexus for the updates. You get the updates, you're going to want this Nexus. If you like a crisp, crispy screen, you know, 2K display, a display that doesn't need to get any better, you know, this right here is the bomb. 493 or so pixels is enough pixels for anybody. So this screen, if you want a screen like this, get it. If the size of the screen, you like to watch your baseball game like me, you like to watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is, guess what? Amazon, Amazon uh, uh, Prime, you definitely going to enjoy all that video on this screen because of the size, not only the, the pixels, because of the size. Also, you're going to enjoy it. Why? Because of these front facing speakers. These front facing speakers are absolutely the bomb. Now, um, the feel of the phone is great. The phone is not exactly a light phone, but given the size, you, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna wave that. But it does feel good in the hand, easy to operate. Battery life is adequate. It's okay. But one of the biggest qualms about this phone is, for me, the button placement, which is not a deal breaker, and the front-facing camera, which is absolutely not a deal breaker. So, in other words, this phone is the absolute bomb. This phone. I love it. This is the king of phablet right here. And that's the bottom line. So with that, guys, this is my last word on the Nexus 6. See you guys in the next one.